Everybody, thanks for joining us. We take a look at the weekend forecast for March 3rd through the 5th. And um, I continue, uh, this will obviously mostly focus on the, our system that is going to approach tonight and into tomorrow. Um, and that's going to give us a, a decent amount of snow, but also some sleet. And I continue to be a less bullish, a, a little bearish on how much snow I think we're going to get compared particularly with the National Weather Service. Um, I really respect what the National Weather Service uh, men and women do there. They're really good. That's all they do is forecast, basically. Um, but for some reason, I, and I'm not entirely sure. I, I feel like I've seen this happen many times this winter. Um, and I think particularly for us here in southern Vermont, I think they're a little uh, on the bullish side for how much snow we're going to get. Uh, my numbers are, pretty, are, are, are quite a bit less than theirs. I could be wrong. wouldn't be the first time. Um, but uh, it's just I want to give you the best forecast for what I think is really going to happen. Um, and I do think it's based on a lot of what's happened this winter. All right. Uh, first of all, we're, we're not going to get radar today. Sorry about the radar situation, but for some reason, the radar set I use is down. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. But here's satellite, which kind of tells the story here. Um, we have our system really getting going here across uh, the central part of the, in the United States. Um, you can see uh, the cold front here. Last night, this cold front had lots of energy and moisture associated with it. Big time thunderstorms across Texas um, as the cold front swept through. It'll have another round of good thunderstorms, big thunderstorms today. Um, but what's here to notice is we're nowhere near starting to develop any kind of low pressure system off the coast. And actually, we got a long ways to go before that happens. Um, and it's this late transfer of energy, which we've seen all winter. You can get big snow out of a system that kind of goes to the north and dies and redevelops off the coast. But it needs to redevelop off the coast. In order for us to get big snow here across southern Vermont, that needs to happen um, south of New Jersey, usually, or in southern New Jersey or off you know, near D.C., uh, even better if it happens off the coast of the Carolinas. Um, and that just has not happened all winter. We have seen a bunch of these systems that do redevelop. Some of them have not. Some of them just, sky, just zoom to the west, and all we get is rain. But uh, a bunch of them have redeveloped off the coast, uh, but they do it too late, and we end up with this big uh, slot of dry air that moves in between the two, two systems. And that changes us either. We, we may stay snow, but the snow really lets up, and it kind of becomes a non-accumulating snow, just sort of light snow for hours on end, or it changes to sleet. Oftentimes it changes when it kind of mixes with sleet. Uh, because there's often uh, a little bit of warm air that gets mixed into those dry slots as well. And I think that really is going to happen here uh, once again, and that's really going to keep our accumulation numbers down, uh, both that we get some sleet, and then we're not going to get as much liquid equivalent precipitation as most, a lot of the models are calling for. And there are some models that definitely support this idea that I've got, um, but uh, not all of the models support it um, entirely. So there you go. Some of the models uh, want to kind of keep us snow, but they've wanted to do that all year. They've missed the dry slots quite consistently. Uh, or over overstated. Here's, here was my attempt at radar, but it doesn't really work. So uh, Friday midday today, here's our system. Very well developed. No real hint of development. We just we do have some rain and a little bit of snow popping up associated with the warm front as we're starting to surge warm, moist air up over some colder or cooler air here across the northeast. We've got snow on the backside of the system. As we head towards evening, you can see we're still not developing a system. Now, originally, this was about when the low wanted to start really getting going off the coast. And if we have the, had the low transfer then, um, and no models really call for this, but if we had the low transfer then here, we could be looking at a really big snowstorm. That's how we would get a big snowstorm out of this kind of setup. But the upper level system is too dynamic, and this low will still not be quite wrapped up to the point where it's ready to transfer energy, I don't think, at this point. And so because of that, um, it means that uh, this we're still waiting for the system to get going. Um, but again, pretty good snow, pretty good thump of snow on the front end. Um, it's not until real late evening, basically overnight, that the snow makes its way here across Vermont. By overnight, we do have a good thump of snow. And I have upped my numbers a little bit from yesterday because I do think we're probably going to get a bigger uh, front end hit of snow than we have uh, than we did before. But it's still not, I'm still way far, uh, way lower than the National Weather Service. So also you can see kind of an area of sleet mixing in. And you can already see a dry slot that's starting to move in between the two lows. And even on Friday, even uh, like 1 o'clock, this is uh, approximately 1 o'clock in the morning, um, this, the parent low is still the stronger low. And we're just starting to get a low going here. And yes, that low is sort of starting to form over southern Jersey. But we would need this to really be, this low was becoming very dominant at this point, And this low was completely dying. And that's not happening. We're not getting the transfer fast enough to happen. As we head into Saturday morning, 
finally the low right over along New York City, Long Island starts to become the dominant low. But again, I think this dry slot has punched into our west. I think precipitation kind of cuts off for a lot of the Hudson River Valley. And here we get um, kind of a light sleep, or I mean, it might still be mostly snow at this point, but kind of a light sleep snow. This is for early morning on Saturday. There is some lighter snow associated with the upper level low, but um, it's going to take too long. Now, if you're in New Hampshire, I know I have forecast for Southern Vermont, but the further east you go, the more this system is getting going quick enough. So for Central New Hampshire, Eastern New Hampshire, and uh, for Southern Maine, I think the snow totals there um, could be pretty big from the National Weather Service because this low is going to get going fast enough to keep the heavier snow going there while we lose the forcing here across Southern Vermont. By Saturday midday, um, the system, this has become the only low. The upper level low has basically died out. And all the accumulating snow has basically moved to our east and uh, of southern Vermont. We might be just getting a little bit on the tail the back end of it, but I don't think we get more than an inch or so once we kind of get back into the snow for the most part. So it's not really going to add up a ton. The mountains might get two or three inches out of that. Ski areas sometimes do a little bit better with some uh, some of that lift from the elevation. But again, we're kind of uh, limited in how much of that we see. Um, as we take a look. Uh, precipitation arrival time. So this afternoon uh, across uh, Pennsylvania, a lot of southern New York and western New York, 4 to 7 p.m. tonight. Uh, we start to get in precipitation 7 to 10 p.m. It's more like uh, 8, 9, 8, 9 o'clock probably even in places like Bennington, maybe 8.30 in Bennington. Um, by, by 10 p.m., it's basically most of uh, uh, sorry, most of Bennington and Wyndham County that are snowing. But by 11 p.m., basically, I think everybody in our forecast area is snowing. And then uh, it takes a little while to get the snow up into, obviously, northern Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Um, as we take a look at totals for snow accumulations, um, as you can see, uh, basically the map is still the same. I think particularly uh, on the Route 7 corridor here uh, is where we're going to struggle to see those. Uh, we're going to get a decent amount of sleep. That will creep up the uh, uh, Connecticut River as well, I think. Um, up, so three to five inches. Again, I had this at two to three yesterday. I do think we're going to see a little bit more on the front end. So three to five inches um, up to about Dallas Falls, close to Springfield. Four to seven for most of us, um, I think, uh, with a decent amount of sleep mixed in. Again, most of this happens real early, a quick two, three-hour period. And um, thankfully, it happens overnight because the roads will be really bad for a little bit. And then six to nine inches where we get, uh, where we're a little more likely to stay mostly snow uh, here across the higher elevations of uh, Rutland and Windsor counties. Um, a little bit, as you get north of that, you start to get a little bit further away from the storm, not as much precipitation overall. Again, National Weather Service is calling for a foot in a lot of the areas where I'm calling for four to seven. So um, I just don't see it, um, unfortunately. I would love to say I did, and I could be wrong, and if I am, I, you know, uh, you can give me a hard time on Facebook. That's fine. Um, but I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, for the overall weekend forecast, because this is a whole weekend forecast, today, nice day out there, lots of sun to start, we'll get increasing clouds throughout the day, temperatures in the mid-30s, maybe even upper 30s in those lower elevation, or lower locations, heavy snow, but mostly uh, at about uh, anywhere from about 11, uh, 10, 11 o'clock at night through 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, and that's when we get the chance to start to mix in some of that sleep. Temperatures will be about 30 degrees. It won't be a light and fluffy snow. It'll be kind of a dense snow. That's another reason why I think the snow totals will be held down some. Uh, it's kind of a dense snow. Uh, Saturday, especially in the morning wintry mix, we will change back over to snow. I think whatever's left over after about 8, 9 o'clock in the morning will change back mostly to just snow, but I think it will be basically a light to moderate snow at that point, or we might get another inch or so on the, on the back end, but I don't think too significant, except for maybe some of the ski areas, like I said. Uh, we hold on to the clouds overnight. We're in the mid-20s, um, and pretty typical for March time uh, weather here, early March weather. There's maybe a degree or two above normal, but about about normal for this time of year. Sunday, um, where we see temperatures in the mid-30s, upper 30s for the valley locations, some sun, not a full Sunday on Sunday. We do clear out. We're a little breezy overnight on Sunday as we do try to move in some slightly cooler air, um, but the wind will actually help keep temperatures up a little bit. We'll be in the mid-20s, but it'll feel chillier on Sunday night. This isn't like damaging wind or anything like that, but we can definitely have some gusts, 25, 35 miles an hour um, on Sunday night overnight. So you'll hear the wind moving out there. In terms of your, uh, oops, sorry, I'm going the wrong direction once again. The weekend highlights significant winter storm Friday night into Saturday. Obviously, we talked about that a lot. Heaviest precipitation falls between midnight and 4 a.m. That's when the heaviest snow particularly falls um, before we start to get the chance for some sleep to mix in. Um, light to moderate uh, snow during the day on Saturday morning. I think that the travel, because of that, the continued snow, it'll keep travel difficult through at least the first half of the day on Saturday. It might get better as we head into the afternoon, but it'll be tricky. Um, it's not going to be fun to get out and around tomorrow morning. Uh, pleasant weather today and on Sunday. All right. Let's look at your forecast. Thanks for uh, 
following the channel. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel before, I would encourage you to do so. It helps make sure you don't miss any of my videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. They help support what I do here at the West River Weather Guy. Um, financially, they help uh, usually give me products like the Radar. Uh, that's a subscription service to get the good radar that I've got. Um, so uh, that uh, the, uh, the patrons help support that kind of stuff. And some of the other graphics really help make these forecasts better. Um, and also some of my access to models and things like that. So yeah, I appreciate their help. And I will be back on Monday with a look at your working forecast for next week. Uh, in the meantime, uh, stay safe out there in the snow and sleep.